Hello everyone, and welcome to the Wing of Bat YouTube channel. I don't want to share too much personal information on here, but for some background, my name is Taylor, I'm Canadian, and I'm a movie lover and amateur writer and filmmaker about to go into my second year of film school. I wanted to get into doing YouTube videos for a really long time, and wanted to get this channel started a little while ago as kind of a summer project, but after a series of unfortunate events that I won't get into here because... One, it's not that relevant anymore, and two, nobody really gives a shit. It had to be put off. My focus is going to be reviews and analysis of horror and other similar genre films that I'm passionate about, and maybe some other semi-related topics like urban legends and true crime. I have a lot of ideas for potential videos and series I want to do, but it's just kind of experimental for now. Even though things will start to get very busy for me soon, my goal is to upload a video about every two weeks. If this sounds like your thing, I hope you enjoy my first video and decide to stick around. Now that that's over with, on to the review. Stephen King's It, the movie. I never got a chance to watch this as a kid back in the 90s like so many others did, but all my life I've had this built up for me as an all-time classic. A lot of my friends grew up with this film and think that it's terrifying. And maybe if I saw this as a kid I would feel the same way, but watching it as an adult after reading the book, yeah. If you grew up with this movie and were traumatized by it, cool. I'm not trying to shit on your childhood memories or take that away from you, I'm just giving my own perspective. If you're not familiar with the story, It, based on the novel by Stephen King, follows a group of friends called the Losers Club who come together to stop an evil entity that has been terrorizing their town for years, who feeds on children and likes to take the form of a clown called Pennywise. The story has two main parts, one taking place in the 1950s when the Losers first encounter It as children, and the other taking place years later where the adult characters return to their hometown to face it again. Despite not living up to its reputation for me, I honestly don't think it's that bad of an adaptation, considering the content and budgetary limitations it must have had as a TV movie. But the one thing that dragged the movie down for me a lot was the pacing. It took a while for this version to really engage me, and I feel like the way it cuts between the childhood story and the present day story could have been done better and the constant flashbacks and flash-forwards often make the film feel disjointed. The 1950s story is by far the best part, and the cast does an excellent job. It's not surprising that a lot of the younger cast went on to have successful careers. The adult cast, on the other hand, isn't quite as solid. Tim Curry is of course the standout, and his performance is a lot of fun to watch, but honestly, a lot of the time Pennywise doesn't feel like as much of a threat as he's built up to be. Maybe it's just because I'm not especially afraid of clowns, but he just kind of shows up, scares the losers club, jokes around, and then disappears or lets them go most of the time. I can definitely see why this would be scary watching it as a kid, and there are definitely creepy moments, but it comes across more goofy a lot of the time. That's not necessarily a bad thing, as I had fun with some of the cheesy parts of this movie, but it felt like they were holding back from how scary it could have been. The ending is also pretty anticlimactic, and definitely comes off better on page than on screen. Overall, it did have some good moments. I enjoyed the first part of the story in Tim Curry, but at three hours long and having long stretches that just didn't grab me, I can't see myself revisiting this one a lot when I'm binging on Stephen King movies. It wasn't awful, and I can see why a lot of people do love it, but I'm glad it's getting a redo. Looking forward to talking about that one in a couple weeks.